Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll be diving into BRCGS Food Safety Standard Issue 9, focusing on Clause 4.2, which addresses food defense. The primary objective of food defense under the BRCGS standard is to protect food products from intentional contamination and potential threats. This clause emphasizes that companies must establish robust systems to prevent any deliberate actions that could compromise food safety and consumer trust. According to Clause 4.2, businesses are required to conduct thorough risk assessments to identify any vulnerabilities within their processes. This includes assessing risks of intentional contamination in all areas of the supply chain, including the sourcing, processing, and distribution of food products. The BRCGS standard also specifies that food defense plans must be supported by senior management, with responsibilities clearly defined and communicated across the organization. Employees play a crucial role in food defense, so they need to be trained on recognizing and reporting potential threats. Effective food defense involves awareness at all levels, from executives to line workers. Let's look at how to develop a food defense risk assessment and walk through a real-life case study to understand how these principles apply in practice. Step 1. Identify and assess potential threats. A food defense risk assessment begins by identifying possible threats across all parts of the production and supply chain. This includes assessing the facility's physical security, ingredient sourcing, handling, storage, and distribution. For each stage, you should consider the likelihood and severity of potential risks. One of the first steps is understanding the motivations and opportunities that could lead to intentional contamination. In recent years, economically motivated adulteration, disgruntled employees, and even organized crime have posed threats to food safety. Assessing these threats involves asking questions like, what areas of the facility are vulnerable? Who has access to sensitive parts of the process? Are there adequate surveillance and monitoring systems? Step 2. Implementing control measures. Once threats are identified, the next step is to implement control measures to address these vulnerabilities. This includes physical security, such as restricted access to sensitive areas, monitoring systems, and tamper-evident packaging. Consider training employees on food defense, empowering them to recognize and report unusual behavior or incidents. Consistent security checks and clear documentation also reinforce the effectiveness of these controls. Real-life case study, the dairy product tampering incident. Let's look at a real-life example to illustrate these concepts. In 2019, a dairy company in the U.S. faced a significant food defense incident. A disgruntled employee tampered with milk cartons by adding bleach, aiming to disrupt the company's operations and damage its reputation. Fortunately, the company had a food defense risk assessment and training program in place. When an employee noticed a suspicious activity, they followed the reporting protocol established by the food defense plan. Surveillance footage confirmed the tampering incident, allowing the company to act quickly by recalling products, notifying authorities, and initiating corrective actions. This example highlights the importance of employee training, surveillance, and rapid response measures as part of a food defense strategy. By identifying risks in advance, having a plan for prevention, and empowering employees to act, the company mitigated what could have been a severe public health risk. Step 3. Review and update regularly. After establishing and implementing the risk assessment, it's crucial to review and update it regularly. Food defense threats evolve, and so should your assessment. Whether it's changes in the supply chain, shifts in employee roles, or new regulatory requirements, these updates ensure the risk assessment remains relevant. Developing a food defense risk assessment is a continuous, proactive process. By identifying potential threats, implementing robust control measures, and training employees, companies can safeguard their products and consumers from intentional contamination. A strong food defense plan not only protects the business but also reinforces consumer trust in the brand. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more insights on food safety and risk management.